again, everyone, and welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. I'm Tom Dorado, and the Cowboys, well, went right down to the last play as they hosted Texas A&M, the 24th-ranked Aggies, <laughs> thrown into the end zone. Last play, chance to win. Well, you know, chance to be a hero, chance to win, Tom, and, uh, uh, you know, I keep watching that film over and over. Uh, obviously, I thought it was in, and uh, the officials saw it differently, but uh, Marcellus made a great effort, and, uh it was the kind of game that our, our team stayed in there and really fought and had a chance to win it. It was a heck of a ball game, as you might imagine. And again, another in a long line of those down-to-the-wire thrillers against Texas A&M. We're back with the highlight package after this opening timeout. The Bob Simmons Show. Well, welcome back to the show. And, Bob, we were talking during the break. This game was a perfect example that it's not lip service these youngsters have been given to effort, enthusiasm each and every week. It was evident against that A&M. Right, Tom, you're correct. Uh, it's a good example of, uh, uh, of our kids playing with enthusiasm. The big example, Tom, is that, is that uh, they came out uh, on both sides of the ball and, and actually made, made plays, made, made plays mm -hmm. on defense. Uh, I thought our defense adjusted well that first half, breaking on the ball. You see guys flying around, two and three guys are around the tackle. Made a little bit of adjustments for this ball game here. Uh, again, you can see guys that Toombs run the ball. And, a lot of and, people uh, around the has big man. to be for Toombs. Got to be for Toombs. And uh, running inside zone, play nice tackle by Richmond Greg up Richmond. in there, huh? He got to hold on. He's got to hold on, though. But and, and Richmond is a guy that thinks going to be better. It's third and five. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, Got good coverage, uh, made a good call to really take that route away and uh, force them into a, a punting situation. And, and you know, that first half, uh, our offense really had uh, a poor field position in terms of starting their drives. But Reggie White, uh, I thought, had an outstanding ball game. Good well, blocking up front, hard, played yeah. hard, ran through tackles. Uh, nice run by Tim Burles, uh, getting that first down, going back inside on a replay. Nice decision. Uh, by Reggie, and he picks up about uh, 15 yards, and uh, that's not Reggie. That's that was Tatum. Tatum Bell. Sorry, Tatum. Sorry, Reggie. Uh, but, uh, you know, Asu throws the ball a little bit behind here. Uh, we come up, and, and uh, Asu goes inside on a delay. Uh, they defensively, they had it uh, well defensively, forced us into a punting situation. Uh, and uh, I really want to say I thought Scott punted the ball better. He had a short punt the first time, yeah. but uh, came back and you can see that uh, good tackle. Tatum Bell went down and forced it. Defense back on the field. They're sprinting out and got to get a little bit more depth by our, by our linebacker. Uh, but we go back inside. This is reverse. Our safety's got to come down here. Uh, on that reverse, just a good call by them. We got to get in the right position. Third and 11. Uh, and uh, here's where uh, our technique got us in trouble a little bit. Throwing a slant on third and 11. Should be getting inside. And, and you can see that driving the ball. Tombs is hard to tackle. Mm. Uh, there's a guy that runs very hard, very aggressive. We've got to get guys. This is a big play. Uh, nice job by T. Rob forcing the throw, right the Aaron throw right in his face here, and uh, they throw it out. Uh, we just we just got to tackle it. Uh, uh, Ferguson was an excellent player, and uh, you know, we knew coming in uh, this is a great break. He's trying to switch the ball, cause the fumble, and see our, our young guy now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he got, he got, well, should have come out, stay yeah, in. Yeah. Probably should have stayed in, would have had better field position. Mm -hmm. uh, but we come out, stop him in that first quarter, no points. Uh, and, and here's where we just get out athletic uh, time, where uh, our defensive back has really got to play off and, and play a little bit deeper, uh, not to give us that, that kind of throw against a guy that's very fast. Uh, but I thought Jay, I think this is Jay, mm -hmm. did a good job on kickoff returns and and uh, getting us out to about the 33-yard line. Stack offense here, A little offense bit here, different huh? formation. Stack, nice adjustment by our offense, and Reggie makes, makes a nice catch. And this is a big play. Uh, gets us a uh, great field position. Uh, nice check by Also and, and uh, double dips it just to get Reggie a little bit of room away from the receiver. Uh, and now you can see me as a cheerleader saying, get go going. Go that direction. Go, go, go. Uh, we so, gave a steady uh, diet of this on this drive until they could adjust to it. Well, it's a new wrinkle we did. that they hadn't seen. We did, and, and it's really gave them a steady diet of, uh, of, uh, of those kind of plays. They hadn't seen us. They've seen stacked by other teams, right. but not by us. Right. Uh, also gets the five yards, fourth and one. Uh, it, it also makes a nice run that picks up two yards uh, and keeps that drive alive here. And, and uh, uh, now he's throwing. Uh, this is our, our play of the week, our throwback. This is what they wanted to do. We've got to get a couple more linemen downfield. I got to teach Oslo to get down. Yeah. Uh, but he took them on, gets us in a 
another uh, second and one. Uh, Reggie does a nice job of bouncing this play on the outside. And, and uh, you know, this is a defense time that's very good. <clears throat> and you really don't see people moving the ball on. Uh, but that was an excellent drive. Big answer drive right Kept, there. Yeah, we had to have an answer drive. This is capped off by a nice run by, by Oslo uh, in zone and, and now it's 7-7. Seven to seven. That's just the fourth uh, rushing touchdown they gave them. up all year. Right. Uh, and like you say, our offense did a good job against a defense that was ranked in the country. Uh, and what we had, Tom, was great execution during that drive. And uh, obviously they go back up with the same play. Uh, and I thought Massey makes a real good play. But the guy that comes over and really – Jobs ball loses. Uh, Robbie, uh, Gillum. Robbie Gillum yeah. did a good job there. And, uh, you can see levels. This is a great hit. Our guys are playing a little bit more zone combination in this ball game, and uh, we're around the ball, and, and uh, we got in the third down situation. Another uh, uh, punt safe for us. Uh, and this kicker was doing a good job, but uh, Gabe, Gabe's got to learn now to get north and south. I got to get him in here and say get north and south on that. <laughs> You'll have that chance well, here in I a little bit. <laughs> good run by Reggie. Uh, this is a draw play. Uh, he picks up about 15 yards here. Uh, we go back up inside, and, and uh, uh, this is a uh, nice throw to, to Woods. You've got to keep him on his feet so he can run after he makes the catch here. Uh, you know, Oslo scrambling around. This is the last play of the half, yeah. uh, and so it comes up short here. Uh, they make the interception, uh, and then uh, they end up running out of bounds. But we go in, Tom, at halftime, 7-7. Seven seven. Uh, really feel good about what's going on. Uh, the team feels good. We come back out the second half. And, and they start moving the ball here, and it really comes down to us getting in the right position because we had two guys there yeah. and no one made the play. Uh, and this, this was a main staple play for them in the second half, uh, which we didn't want as coaches, and I'm pretty sure our defense didn't want, but the but but biggest thing was getting off blocks, tackling, and making plays. And you see that first drive, they drive the ball down to the 30 here and go inside. Mm -hmm. We're off a little bit too far when, we're, when we cl get close to the goal line. We've got to tighten up a little bit. Run an option play, uh, which is a good call by them. They called us in man coverage, uh, and they go up 14-7, uh, which you know now is going to be a test of really what, what we're going to do uh, as an offense. And we get a short kick. Uh, Jay does a, a good job of getting that ball outside, turning on. Good cut here. And you can see he brings that ball out to about the 42-yard line. Good field position. Probably should have checked this play. This is a great run. This is a play that shouldn't have got off. And, and Reggie is one step from taking this thing the distance in terms of acceleration. But he ran hard. We go back inside. This is a read play mm -hmm. uh, where our quarterback reads the end and, and probably should have pulled it in. But uh, we go out here. Uh, boy, I thought Marcellus had caught it. If he puts it away, it's going to be a big play. Yeah. Uh, but, and, and he knows that. But uh, we don't come up with a third down play. Uh, Seth does a nice job coming in and now getting points on the board. We didn't go away with points. We got points on the board, 14-10. Uh, got to slow them down here uh, on uh, uh, on offense because, uh, you know, they went in and adjusted. And what we need to do on defense is, is really uh, make some plays here. Miss tackle, that's third and five. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the difference. At least those the first half that we were making tackles. Nice coverage sack. That's what that was. Uh, but I wish you to just flip that ball up and, and knock, knock it out, it turn over, <laughs> knock it loose, strip. We get that, uh, we're going to have the ball. But good sack. Uh, we, we come with a, uh, a little blitz, and uh, this is a fumble. Here we're, we're in good coverage. We can't let him inside. Third and nine. And here's where we really got to uh, work. In the first half, we, we got off the field on third down situation. Uh, in, in this third quarter, uh, we didn't. And uh, this is just poor, poor tackling right here. One, two, three, uh, at four, and down to the two-yard line. But we had time, as you can see, they get in. But, you know, the key was uh, ourselves converting on third down and right. getting off the field and making plays. And, and uh, uh, you know, but our team hung in there. It's still 21-10 here. Uh, they go back and, and they throw a stop route, better tackle, pick up two. Uh, our kids are starting to tighten it up a little bit. And uh, he goes on the outside. And we pick it off. We had to come up with a play. Paul Jones does a nice job of stepping inside. Uh, and we needed that kind of enthusiasm. That was a great break a great on the break. football he made. Uh, this is a real nice throw by, by Oslo. Nice read. You see Woods come across here. Uh, because our offense did have success moving the ball here. Uh, you know, uh, this is a, a nice throw. Now, Gabe, go get up the field. If he goes up the field, he may end up scoring. And he's going to see if he just catches it and turns it up. He's going to get a lot more room here. There's a personal uh, foul on well, the end of this play. Well, personal foul called. on the end of the room was called, and, and uh, this is a nice throw. 
which gets us the first down. And, and, you know, and we come back with a very similar route. We got to go outside in. You can't force it through two guys. And I think that's just a learning process yep. for Oslo. He's going to be uh, much better at making those reads. Uh, but uh, this turnover, now we, we come back on offense here. And, still a heck of a uh, fourth quarter coming up, heck, though. You know, gets the first down here. It's key. Like him to, to really, if nobody's open, he's got to run more. Here's where uh, he got hurt. Vivid head came in. Yeah. Got hurt, and, and uh, Ryan's over there. He's a little bit cold now. I coming would think, off. huh? Uh, makes a nice read here where he oh. pulls it down. Good job. Picks up 13 yards. Runs over that defensive back. Gets it down to the 50. We go back inside with with Reggie for about two or three yards here. We got Ryan here in a in a third down, and, and uh, he's cold, so that ball is thrown into the, into the ground. But <clears throat> we're going to turn it back over to our defense time, especially uh, here. Uh, he fair catches the three yard line. Should have let it go in the end zone. They come back out. They got a habit of always wanting to go deep. Now we're in good position, right there. That's good position. Uh, now we're playing better football here. Uh, you see guys making tackles, sprint out here. And here's a tip that's in the air. We got to get somebody around it, but we didn't. But he did tip the ball, but we're in better football position. We forced them here. Uh, we got a block return on. We really pin a guy inside here. Uh, and I've always tell Gabe, you got to make two miss, one, two, get to the sideline. Here comes the wall. We got guys pinned, makes a great cut back inside. And as you just said, uh, uh, that was a great run. Southwestern <coughs> Bell play the game, obviously. And hey, we've been waiting a while for that to happen. <laughs> we got a stat to tell you about later when uh, Gabe joins us on the player interview. Well, and this is a two point, and really, what, what I, you know, I don't know how close he was to catching that ball here. Uh, but, you know, you can see with that punt return, uh, and with the, the life that we have on defense, all the runs that they had in, this, in the third quarter, they don't have now. We got guys around the ball, we're a little bit closer. Uh, that's, that's a real key stop for us uh, because we forced them into a punting situation. Uh, Frankly, we had the momentum at this point. I we, 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 had, we had the momentum, Tom. And uh, this is a, just a check. This is a good run here. Good block here. Great cut by, by well, Reggie. He played hard. Uh, he played hard. Boy, if we get some blocking downfield, he may take that thing the distance. Uh, but it gives us great field position here. This is a nice read by Asa. Good blocking by Gabe. We pick up about 13 yards. We see we're on their 40-yard line here. Uh, this is a throwback screen, but they give us a call for, for uh, holding. Uh, and then that's what they're calling. That puts us, puts us off schedule a little bit. But fourth and eight, uh, this is a big-time throw, uh, big-time catch here. But don't fall down. Run in the end zone, will you? <laughs> uh, you know, this is a... Now, we're, we're close enough and got enough time where we can really pick up different kind of calls here. Uh, this is uh, just a fade, and I thought, really, that's a, you know, I thought he had it. Mm -hmm. uh, great breakup uh, by, uh, by their guy here, and uh, this is a screen play, which is obvious when you, when you call a screen, you know, you want to throw it to them, but you want to throw it in the ground. If, if they now, this would have been a first down catch right here. Yeah. And it would yeah, be first and goal. First and goal. First and goal. And uh, see, we, we have to come up with those plays. Now this is this is fourth down, and you can see that left foot yeah, is right down. And, and uh, this guy here is very adamant about his call, but uh, uh, obviously, take another uh, look at if it you here. slow it down a little bit here, and uh, you know, he's in. That's all I can tell you. Touchdown. But uh, as far as the official wasn't uh, got together with uh, with. Uh, RC, good coach. Uh, he said it was a heck of a heck of a ball game. Uh, all those accolades when you when you when you lose to them. <laughs> in a game like that, it's tough to go in and face a group of youngsters quickly. What'd you tell them? Well, you know, Tom, I, I really talked about it. it was no consolation that they played their, their hearts out, and uh, uh, obviously that's the kind of effort that that keeps you in ball games when you put special teams and make plays uh, and. Uh, you know, uh, it, it was they were hurting, and, and I, I really felt it hurt. But we got to come back next week. We got three games left, uh, and to finish this season the right way. Tech is the first one up right. over in Lubbock. <clears throat> you know, with all the excitement that takes place inside the lines of Lewis Field on game day, there's a lot going on off the field as well. On this week's two-minute drill, photographer Rockford Todd brings us a taste of the total football experience. And as usual, it's brought to you by Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance.
in that piece, you got a chance to see Gabe run back his 57-yard punt return for a touchdown. Incidentally, the first against Texas A&M since a guy named Barry Sanders did it back <laughs> in 1988. You'll meet Gabe Lindsay when we return to the Bob Simmons Show. Now it's time for the Big Time Sports Apparel Player Spotlight. Each week we feature the cowboy who typifies the big time attitude to dig down deeper. This week's cowboy in the player spotlight is Gabe Lindsay. Congratulations, when you wear big time, dig down deeper. You talk about a big time play, we saw one there against A&M. Congratulations, Gabe Lindsay with us. And Gabe, we were talking before the show, that's the first punt return in the R.C. Slocum era. That's quite an honor, but it's long coming. You guys have been close before, haven't you? Yeah, we've been close, but it was always one thing that broke down, that messed everything up, but we came back and I give all the credit to the perm return team because I couldn't do, do it without them. So. Okay, how about a teaching moment here? North and South, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's always heard me say, get North and South. But uh, time, we, 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 we really needed a big play off, off of special teams and uh, as Gabe said, it was it's been close several ball games. Uh, in this particular uh, game, you know, as he as I always said, you, you you really have to beat one or two, and uh, he actually uh, beat two guys and got to the wall. Uh, and after that, uh, you know, I was on the sideline. He probably heard me saying, "Go, go!" <laughs> <laughs> but you know what he made at the end uh, was a great cut, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that that gave us a chance to be in a situation to win the ball game. Gabe, we were talking about this on the post-game show radio-wise. I think the game against A&M is a perfect example. From the player's perspective, you guys come in and play hard every game. You expect to win every game. and Obviously, this team has quit. Oh, no. Like I was telling the reporters yes, uh, yeah, yesterday after the game, um, like Coach said, this team got true character, and we're not going to give up no matter what the outcome may come, but we're, we, we're fighting. We need to have him kick it to him one more time yeah, so we can get yeah. that done. Hey. Well, you know, he'll get his opportunities in these upcoming ball games to, uh, uh, to obviously, he's got, we've got a taste of that success now. It's like a shark uh, sniffing blood. So, uh, you know, I, I expect to see Gabe in the end zone quite a, quite a few more times. Gabe, a game breaker. Congratulations. Appreciate you being on the show this week. Back to wrap it all up after this final timeout. Highest payload capacity, largest interior space. Well, we're back, and Bob, it's back to work tomorrow. Texas Tech next on the docket. Uh, yeah, Tom is an offense that we're going to see twice this year. <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, uh, they've done a good job down there. They're throwing the ball around. Mm -hmm. Tough loss to uh, to Texas, and uh, obviously we got to go in there and play well. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. We appreciate you being with us. For Bob Simmons, our entire crew here at Educational Television Services. Tom Dorado, goodbye, everybody. <laughs>